Hi, I'm Aditya from Steamax and in these videos we are reviewing the different biomass fuel from Indian perspective. Now we are going to talk about wood chips. So wood is one biomass which is abundantly available in all the parts of the nation. You know whether you are in Jammu and Kashmir or you know from Kanyakumari to, to extreme east, wood you can find wood everywhere across the nation. So the benefit with the wood and the wood based biomass fuels are that it can be easily found in all the parts of the nation. And it's not just the availability which makes wood as, a, as an attractive fuel for the industries, but it also has very good combustion properties as well. So the wood tend to have very high calorific value which is greater than 4000 kilocalorie per kg and also it has a very low ash content. Uh, it is usually less than 3% in most wood. Also humans have a very long history of using uh, wood as a fuel. Uh, it's safe to say that wood has a very important role in the evolution of mankind as well. Uh, in most part of the country, especially in rural areas, wood is still the primary fuel that is being used for cooking and other applications. But just like all other biomass fuels, wood also have its own disadvantages. So the first drawback with the wood is that the most woods that are chipped in the nation, they are sourced illegally. So to chip wood, you need to have a proper license from the forest department. However, most wood chipping units are operating in an illegal manner, which is obviously not a sustainable way to go forward. The second disadvantage is the high humidity content or high moisture content in the wood. So wood naturally contains almost 40 to 60 percent moisture, right? So uh, when the wood is chipped, this moisture still remains in there. So this increases the transportation cost of the biomass as well as it lowers down the calorific value of the biomass as well. So the three problems that are associated with this is that first it increases the transportation cost of the biomass. Second, it lowers down the calorific value of the fuel. Therefore, you would be needing more fuel to meet your energy demands or meet your heat demands. So the third disadvantage is that it also affects the performance of the system. Because of the high moisture content, the uh, furnace temperature drops down which can also increase the pollution emission from the uh, boilers or heaters. If you want to use wood chips as a fuel uh, in your system, you have to ensure of two things. First, that wood should be sourced legally. The manufacturer should be able to prove the source of that wood as well. Second, the wood has to be sufficiently dried. The recommended moisture range for most system is 15 to 20 percent though it can vary the recommendations can vary from system to system but in the industry 15 to 20 percent is usually recommended. So to conclude wood and wood based biomass are the fuels which are easily and cheaply available all across the nation however most processing done in the nation is done in an illegal way and there is no control over the moisture content of the uh, wood based biomass fuels which makes it difficult for many industries to rely on it as a sustainable fuel option.